name's Lily ash and I'm from Bethnal Green Ventures. We're an accelerator program for very early stage tech um, startups that are trying to solve social or environmental problems. Um, but before I tell you about that, I just want to tell you a little bit about where we came from. Um, five years ago, we decided it might be fun to get some developers and designers in the same room as people that understood social problems. Um, so this was the beginning of Social Innovation Camp. And uh, what that is, is it's a four-month competition that ends in a kind of hackathon-style weekend. But unlike most hackathons, it's not just geeks. So for example, when we ran a um, social innovation camp on youth offending, we had uh, geeks and designers, but we also had social workers and teachers and the young offenders themselves. Um, so social innovation camps were great. But then the team started asking us, what next? Everyone had to go back to work on the Monday, um, which sucked. And uh, with only ad hoc support from us, like it's hard to get these new social ventures off the ground. So um, in 2010, we launched a prototype of Bethnal Green Ventures um, as an after-work club. Oops, sorry, get back. As an after-work club for 10 people, for 16, sorry. Um, and it was great. We had uh, three fantastic teams actually that are still running from that: the Good Gym, the Homeless SMS, and Flip, which some of you may have heard of. Um, but we thought we could do better. People found it really hard. I mean, startups str struggled to get off the ground when they had to keep going back to their day jobs. So last summer, we ran Beth Green Ventures for real. Um, with help from Nesta and Google Campus, we were able to invest 15 grand in each team. And we stuck these six teams on the third floor of Google Campus for 12 weeks and uh, just waited to see what happened. Um, but we didn't just wait, actually. We ran a program. Um, so the program was, we had weekly um, speakers on Mondays, which were founder confidentials, where we invited founders from other startups to tell us how they'd done it. And then we run office hours with the teams, where we sort of talk to each one about how to, their next priorities and who they could connect with. And we also run sort of specialised sessions um, on design, investment, and accountancy club, which was a lot more fun than it sounds. <laughs> um, but alongside that, all the teams were just getting stuck in. They were talking to potential customers, they were honing the technology, and they were collaborating promiscuously, which is what we like to see. <laughs> um, at the end of the program, whoops, no, back. At the end of the program, we ran Demo Day, where 150 people ate uh, nine meters of pizza faster than we could have imagined possible. Um, and then out of it came some really great teams. Um, just a few examples. Doctor Doctor are reinventing the way we access healthcare by building intelligent uh, booking systems for the NHS. Mastodon C, who many of you here know, are analysing the way we use big data, uh, sorry, uh, making sense of our big data on zero carbon infrastructure. And Fairphone is building the first, the world's first ethical mobile phone from mining to recycling. Um, and that's coming out next year, so look out for it. So what's next? We're going to do it again, but bigger and better. Um, with support from the Cabinet Office, Nesta and the Nominate Trust, We'll be running two programs of 10 teams a year and applications open next week so you should all apply um, and you should all come along to our launch party which is next Wednesday at Nesta um, you can sign up on our web page um, we're looking for really early stage ventures with great teams that have the potential to solve really big problems clean web is a great example of how small in innovations can have like massive positive environmental impact we're also particularly looking for women founders. Um, so the numbers are up there, but the other thing that we hope is that Bethnal Green Ventures will be a great experience. Um, if you're chosen, you'll work really, really hard, but you'll also meet some fantastic people with amazing connections, and you'll achieve more than you could ever have thought possible while having a great amount of fun. And also, there'll be loads of free food, which won't just be pizza, as you can see from this picture. Um, so, you know, if you have any ideas, any questions, please come chat to me afterwards. Also, or drop by our offices anytime. Me and Paul and Glenn, my colleagues, are always available to have coffee and talk to you about your ideas. And we'd love to hear from you. So, thanks for listening. Cheers.